Hello, Gareth here. So, if you've ever wanted to paint a dramatic sky, then you might find some useful information in this video, because I've spent a whole week trying to paint this sky. It's a very dramatic sky. So this is my local river, and uh, one day I took this photograph, and then recently, about a week ago, I decided to paint it. And I thought it would be easy, but it was so difficult. And I suppose the first tip I want to give you is persevere. But anyway, we'll get onto that in a minute. So this is my first painting, which actually is not bad. And if you want to see my final painting, then here we go, and uh, let's try and compare. So, final painting, original painting. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? <laughs> I can't believe this. Um, I've tried to make this video several times and it's been really noisy and all of a sudden this bus went past blaring out music. But anyway, <laughs> It's a patriotic Japanese song and uh, can't believe it. There's got to be something going on in the universe. Okay, so uh, something a bit strange. So this is the original painting and then this is the final one. Now, I don't know, it's still good, isn't it? Still good and maybe you like that one better. In which case, maybe I wasted my time. But I learnt a lot, I learnt a lot. And there were some good spin-offs, which I will show you a bit later, okay? So um, I think the most important point is to persevere. So the thinking is, right, that if you do the same painting again and again, you'll get better. But I've often found that's not the case. Often the next painting is even worse. And just, and just uh, to show this to you, have a look at this. So um, let's go the right way. That was the next one. I'm really embarrassed to show these paintings to you. And this was the next one, not so great. And the next one, so it really, really wasn't working out very well then the next one and we could go on and on and on and then the next one so I was really disappointed with those attempts and you really begin to lose faith or hope or whatever and want to give up but um, my message is persevere for at least a week the second tip is go on well use your head think about it and so I had a bit of a think and I thought, okay, maybe I need to learn something here. So I went on YouTube and I found some really, really good videos on painting dramatic skies. So that's the second tip. Go on YouTube and have a look for your, whatever you're painting and whatever you're struggling with. And that really helped me tremendously. That's when I started to paint better skies and um, this is one that I started to do and um, I decided to just be colourful with this one so I was quite happy with that. So one of the big tips I learnt for my particular subject matter, dramatic skies, was to use a spray, a spray bottle and to keep the paper moist. Now not wet, moist. If it's wet, the paint's just gonna run across the paper. So you want it slightly damp so you can work on it and keep soft edges without the paint running everywhere. But as you watch the video, blah, 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 as you watch the video, you'll understand what I mean. Um, okay, so spray bottle. Then the fourth one is a pencil line. So one of the problems I encountered was I didn't have a problem with painting clouds, 
but I kept doing the horizon line too low or the ground too low. So um, by having a pencil line where the horizon needs to be, it stopped me going too far down with the sky. So of course, most of the picture is the sky, but about a quarter of the way up, uh, maybe not that much, but maybe about a fifth of the way up, if that, um, I drew my horizon line and it gave me just enough space to create an interesting ground. And then the next point is strong contrast, which is obvious, right? But like you really want, for example, if you look carefully here, we've got the white, but then we've got this purple and then we've got the really dark color and we've got the light blue and the darker blue and a kind of yellow here and then a, a, a kind of dark blue and then even darker blue. So you really want to make these dark grays, which means using a lot of paint. So I know beginners are not keen on using a lot of paint, <laughs> but you have to if you want those dark colors, right? And the other thing was variety of color. So when you look at this picture, it's pretty monotone, isn't it? You've got a dark block of gray, white, light blue, and then maybe a grayish color. So I really tried to, to make it not a dark block of gray. It, maybe it could work, I don't know. But personally, the skies I looked at, the more variety of color in the skies, the more beautiful I thought they were. So I tried to add some, a bit of a light purple and then a darker purple. And here a light blue and then a darker blue. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. So that variety. And then um, another thing is um, if you do persevere, then good results do eventually come unless you're very unlucky. I have had paintings where I've really persevered for like two weeks and done lots of paintings and it hasn't worked and then it's maybe a good idea to give up. But I think for at least a week to persevere and look at some of these lovely little paintings I got in my sketchbook. So I was quite happy with that one. And then I love this one. So I just saw a painting um, on the uh, YouTube and I just got this creative urge and I just went and painted this. This was a bit from my imagination, but it was inspired by a YouTube video. Um, and, and in this painting, I was really letting the paint run down, run down and then leaving white gaps. And then I'd do this area here very soft and then make it darker and I kept spraying it to keep it all wet. And then um, I did this one. So I was quite happy with that because that was difficult to do, that kind of sky formation, cloud formation. And then this was the very first one I did. So although it's a bit light, I just love this running down of the color. And really there's huge potential here for colors and skies. And uh, also what I did as fun, this was a pen sketch and I just decided to color it in and add this beautiful sky. So I think it was well worth persevering with these skies. And so here again is my uh, final one. I'm quite happy with it. Not super happy, but quite happy. And I learned a lot. And I did some other little spin-off paintings that were very, very nice. One more point, very important for me this was. At first I used phthalo blue, alizarin crimson and yellow ochre. Now maybe it's not true, but I swapped the phthalo blue for ultramarine blue because I felt like my greys were just dead. My grey just looked dead and being as this was a huge big grey cloud, that grey had to look beautiful. So when I used ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and yellow ochre, I found that grey to be just a bit more beautiful. Now, could be wrong. There's no science behind that. 
but that was just my experience. So I would recommend those colors, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and yellow ochre. And those were basically the, the, the main colors I used for this painting. And uh, as far as brushes were concerned, I think I just used a mop brush for the clouds, sometimes a bamboo brush, but a round brush will do. And that was mostly for these little clouds. And you do, you do want to work at making nice cloud shapes. Yeah. So you want to take your time with these. Um, sorry, you want to take your time with these and really make them look good. Um, the problem is, is as a beginner, you can spend too long doing that and the whole thing dries up. So you do have that working against you as a beginner. As you become more experienced, you just get more familiar with the brush and quicker at using it. So you don't have that problem so much. But of course, spray bottle to the rescue. And don't spray directly at the paper, but spray over it. So sorry for this, all this information. There's a huge amount. Um, I will though write the main points down below. And if I miss something, please tell me in the comments because I'm trying to learn just like you. But now let's get on with the lesson and have some fun. <laughs> 